It's, it's uh, I think it's about the size of your arena. <gasps> oh, it wasn't that bad. Just a little bit. Dirt off the shoulder. And it flips. That's a good way to do it. Joel Hansen here, and it's beginning to look a lot like freaking Oklahoma! I'm so damn excited. We're down here with Miss Reyna in Muskogee at Club Lunch to do the world's biggest chicken fried steak challenge. There was two foods I said I wanted to eat. Chicken fried steak, Nashville hot chicken. We are getting chicken fried steak right now. I'm so excited. This challenge is absolutely gonna bury us though. We both have had no sleep last night. We both traveled all overnight. But anyway, it's like, Frickin' a chicken fried steak, four pounds of beef, plus all the batter, it's at least five pounds, plus a pound and a half of gravy on it. Then you have two servings of mashed potatoes, two sides, which we're both probably gonna choose vegetables because healthy vegetables. Then two pieces of frickin' pie, two dinner rolls. This thing's massive, we're gonna have 45 minutes. But I'm excited, Randy just failed this challenge. So yeah, this will be nine pounds of food, at least, after like 20 some hours driving for her however much traveling for me. So let's go eat some food. I'm excited. Everybody, so here we are with the world's biggest chicken fried steak challenges, guys. Like literally, this is this is, this is huge. This is way bigger than we all could have imagined. <laughs> this is a time, there's a big thumbnail right there, where the picture does not do it justice. So we have not only a massive chicken fried steak with a chicken tender on top. When Randy Santel did it, he didn't do the chicken figure for some reason. Then we have what is the cornbread and the roll. Again, Randy Santel opted for easier and did two rolls versus the cornbread. The salad are two sides. I went with green beans, Brussels sprouts. Raina went with peas and carrots. Then the two sides of mashed potatoes also with the gravy on top. And then we have dessert, we have our pies. Um, so usually it's a personal pie um, or you can do the slice. Apparently it's the same weight. So, and the challenge is only do the one pie. However, again, Randy for some reason did two pies I think he's trying to one up Brandon. So I went with the two slices of coconut cream pie. Uh, so yeah, basically, the record is 38 minutes by Brandon. He's the only guy to ever beat this thing. Randy failed this thing. Raina, ready to eat? Yeah. All right, well, let's get our hair out. So Raina, what do you say we start with a count of, let's say five, okay. four, three, two, one. Cheers. Yeah. Let's go. Very nice, Jason. Very warm as well. In only 45 minutes. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video and what is undoubtedly one of the craziest challenges I have attempted in 2020. Yes, that is right guys. We are talking the world's biggest chicken fried steak. If you're not familiar what a chicken fried steak is, it is actually beef. It is steak, which is hammered out, tenderized, battered as you would a chicken, like if you're going to make deep like fried chicken um, and essentially you batter a steak like fried chicken and deep fry it so super delicious food a food which I definitely orient with the south definitely I'd call it a southern dish as that is definitely where it is more popular more common and I tell you what it should be more popular in more parts of the world because I love chicken fried steak steak is delicious very very delicious Quite rich. 
So for this challenge, we literally had over nine pounds of food, and these are very, very, very solid foods. Nine pounds, guys, and solid foods. Foods that require a lot of extra liquid. That chicken fried steak, a food that requires a lot of liquid. There's not a lot of residual moisture. Definitely, it is a hard food to eat. This is my first food challenge about a month, so I'm a little rusty, I can already tell. I'm just gonna use my hands. Everything fried and have it no other way. As I mentioned, Randy Santel failed this challenge actually only a week or two before we actually came to try this challenge out. And I swore that I would try to avenge him. I made it in a comment, it's one of the comments on that video, and it's pretty funny to see the responses to that. But, and here I am really giving it a go. The only winner being Brandon to garbage disposal, it took him about 38 or 39 minutes, I believe. Um, so the cut, and kind of the meat, like the actual type of uh, beef in this. So when Randy did it, he had a filet mignon. Um, which the owner said was almost a little too soft, so he went with a, our cut, which was an outside round. I, and he said Brandon also had a different cut, but I don't recall which cut it was. So the meat is thin enough and tenderized enough that it's not like it's you know going to be like hard and chewy and thick. Um, but I do think having like a softer cut of meat, like the filet mignon, would be a uh, probably make it a little bit easier and of course we give it a whole different experience filet is generally a softer cut of meat than like a outside round so we're just over five minutes in these things are monstrous really but everything's tasting really good we got 40 minutes left we're here to avenge you Randy <laughs> Club Lunch puts some serious time, some serious effort, and some serious love into all their food. It's all scratched, so huge thanks to uh, Ashley, the owner there. He allowed us um, not only to watch him you know, make the chicken fried steak, but told us a lot about the restaurant, his background, his roots. And uh, I mean, you just can't get more of a homegrown, passionate, um, you know, kind of southern cook than Ashley there. It's really nice to have that like, gravy on there. It adds a lot of moisture, making everything go down. So as we mentioned, there was four pounds of beef by itself, and then once you batter it and deep fry it, definitely you're looking at at least five, six pounds. Throw in the vegetables, the mashed potatoes, the buns, and the pies, absolutely huge. So the original challenge, again, has a chicken finger on it and only one piece of pie. Randy Santel, for some reason, didn't have a chicken finger and had two pieces of pie by his own choice. Brandon had one piece of pie and one chicken finger. So I had the chicken finger and two pieces of pie. Yeah, I can tell I'm pretty rusty, but it is going down. We're doing real well. We're good, both good for time. I chose to do that because I not only wanted to complete the challenge it was supposed to be with one piece of pie and one chicken finger, but I wanted to really uh, avenge um, Randy Santel with the two pieces of pie, but then I also wanted to do it properly, so I brought on the chicken finger. So like I said, we were adding more food and it was crazy. All right, probably about 10 and a half minutes in, just over that. It's going. We're both getting through the chicken fried steaks, both getting through the sides. Raina, how's everything? It's really good. It just feels like it's never ending. The steak is great. It's a lot, but you know, it's the world's biggest chicken fried steak, so I guess you know what we're getting ourselves into. Chicken fried steak is not a food that I grew up with, but and have actually only I've ever eaten it in challenges. I had a. Uh, my first chicken fried steak in a challenge in Texas and now my second chicken fried steak being a challenge in Oklahoma. Definitely something I think should be a lot more common guys. Like I said, it's a very delicious food. It can be seasoned and battered in very different ways just like fried chicken can taste very differently, so can a chicken fried steak. And definitely, it's delicious. Alright, I'm starting to feel like maybe the steak's coming to an end. It's good, but it's a lot. And we still got lots of sides left, so like I said, we're in for a ride. Got a burp. Excuse me. Excuse me. That's 
I may or may not have gotten to all the foods. I won't mention that as you'll have to watch the video and see if we actually complete this challenge. But I will say anything that I did taste was absolutely exceptional. Again, the flavors were great. Um, really enjoyed the location. Great ch uh, challenge and great atmosphere. But with that, everybody, I think that's pretty much the majority of the information. Um, hopefully we can get a, some wins out of this challenge. Like I said, a very, very difficult challenge with not many winners. And start heavy breathing. 15 in. And 15 minutes in. Woo! I now understand why. Randy took like 20 some minutes for that chicken fried steak. It's absolutely huge. I'm very, very thankful. It's tender, it's cooked right. It's just ginormous. Oh, I'm unzipping my pants. There you go. Extra 100 horsepower. Oh, a little bit more room there. So let's see if we can get some wins. Let's see if we can even just beat the base challenge, let alone my version 2.0.5, which is not only Randy Santel's two pieces of pie, but also the chicken finger at that. Of course, hopefully we'll get you know at least the wins. Maybe we'll get some records. Really want to avenge Randy on this one. That's specifically why I came to Muskogee, which is a very small place, about an hour outside of Tulsa, Oklahoma, just to do this challenge. Again, great staff, great location. Uh, that everybody, I'll let you get to the rest of the video. Let me know down below what you guys think of the video so far, if you liked it, and more importantly, do you like chicken fried steak? Comment now, right now, let's do it. Hit that like button. Also consider subscribing, guys. So hit that subscribe button, helps me out, helps you out so you get the most recent updates and I'll never miss a video. Also check out the footage at the end of the video. It is by far the coolest footage I've ever put at the end of video, so check that out. Extra long, paper towels. So we're like probably 20-ish minutes in. 1903. <clears throat> 1903, very precise, thank you very much. Oh, chicken fried steak's basically done. Then mashed potatoes, the bun, the cornbread, and two pieces of pie. This is this is big. Reina, pretty much the same spot. Feeling good, Reina? I'm okay for now. Good. But I don't know. Really. About 25 minutes left. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. Try to. Twenty seven minutes in. Woo! Just a bun. Let me get my favorite coconut cream pie. Yes. Now we're on to dessert. Coconut cream pie. Just clear my spoon off. So I don't have mashed potatoes. Let's go. Mm. 
Oh yeah. Woo! That's a freaking pot. Not a low calorie pie, but a very good pie. So I'm actually, actually I'm actually done the challenge. I will say that. So I just completed the challenge in 30 minutes. I guess. However, that being said, like I said, Randy Santel, for some reason, had two pieces of pie to try one for Brandon. So I went with two pieces of pie to just fulfill the full uh, fully avenge Randy. But I also had that chicken tender on top. Randy didn't have that, so. So I guess we actually got a new record already, but this is just to do the Randy version. Point two. All right, so we're done the first version around 30 minutes. The second version, which I'm doing about 31 42. So, yeah. That's a heck of a challenge. I see why it is the world's biggest chicken fried steak. Massive. Holy jumped. Like I said, I'm rusty. I'm feeling it right now. Raina's doing really well. Are you doing it on you? That's it, Raina. Well, she has 13 minutes left to decide. <laughs> for, for a nine pound challenge, 45 minutes. <laughs> I'm already like, oh. Relief. I feel a lot better now. You got a helper? I mean, I could. <laughs> I'm a gentleman after all. That's right. Uh, Everything's really good. Yeah. And the amount of love and care passion that went into this food. I don't think I've ever seen more going to a challenge than <laughs> food at a restaurant. So the owner Ashley, seriously, if you want like passion, you want food coming from the heart. Club lunch. In Muskogee, Oklahoma. USA. USA. Free. Mark. timer and uh, so she just finished that a little bit she was basically where Randy was so congratulations Randy you did really well thank you that was great uh, that's about it yeah. you know I, I luckily get the meal for free but regardless of that great experience very much enjoyed this challenge just it's massive like it's massive I, yeah it really is don't let uh, 
I think we went into it thinking it would be a little smaller. We, we definitely underestimated it. Okay. But that, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Again, Club Lunch would recommend. And that, what a way to welcome us to Oklahoma. We were very hungry before. I don't know about you, but I'm not hungry now. I'm definitely satiated. So everybody, until next time, stay happy, healthy, hungry, happy. Don't do what we do, but of course, come here, get yourself some food, eat like a normal Ooh. person. That's about it. Have a lovely day. And here's the t-shirt. I beat the chicken fried challenge. I tell you what, it was a heck of a challenge. So yeah, super, super cool. Ashley's a great guy here. We also have beautiful freaking hat, man. I love that hat. You're gonna see me wearing that one around. So hell right, thank you to Club Lunch in downtown Muskogee. And we're just heading out of Muskogee, which is a very cool place. Uh, Oklahoma is actually pretty. Like this is very kind of like rural Oklahoma, but there's been some like water and canals and quite a bit of green. Very, it's definitely a smaller place. And Raina, what do you have to say about uh, Muskogee and Oklahoma? Um, it's actually very pretty. Like he said, I was like, wow, I didn't know there was so much bodies of water. And it was very beautiful to just look around. Um, one thing I don't like is there's a lot of extra bugs that I don't need. <laughs> there's part of nature. There's definitely some wildlife though. Yeah. But uh, Tulsa, left lane. That's what that sign says. Yes. If it'll focus. There you go. And that's where we're headed. So we're heading to Tulsa, where we are for the night, and going there and north from there. So let's have some fun. Hey everyone, what's up? We're in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Miss Reyna. Hello. Going to the Gathering Place, which is apparently this great big waterfront endeavor, couple multi-million, lots of money dollar thingy thing. So let's go have some fun. I'll show you the Gathering Place and let's see some Tulsa, Oklahoma. So here's the waterfront down at the gathering place in Tulsa. The guys obviously were doing some fishing by the looks of it. Very shallow water. Look, I'm not the only Canadian down here. There's a whole bunch of Canadians down there. See those Canadian geese? See, they've already left the north because it's getting too cold up there. So they're also smart. Gotta come down to the heat. Oklahoma heat. Exercise. Out here in Tulsa. Definitely getting some sun today though, I'll tell you that much. My white Canadian skin is not used to this. Beautiful Oklahoma heat. And there's some beautiful hangout areas in this park. Oh, look, you can like rent canoes, it looks like, down by the water. Very beautiful. This is a place with class and architecture, too. And then you can look out over the park. There's some vendors, some uh, water, some bridges. Holy jumpets, look at that. There's a play place. We gotta go. Rain. So here's this like little area where like you can make, you like play with the water, you make it move alter it different ways. There's different like pumps and faucets that the kids play with and then they can manipulate the water based on the rotation of what they're doing. That's really cool. Yeah, this is like an amusement park. This place is huge and freaking awesome. Look at that. Here's some cool like wood thingy things and there's some pod things you can climb in the back. Maybe they make pot, uh, clay pots here. I don't know but look, oh here's, well it's like look a place you can hang out. There's little chairs and all made out of wood. This is cool. Should I climb one of these too? Can you do that? Here's a kid's zip line. Well, I'm just like, the colors are great. Look at <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, this is great. I tell you, I would, uh, I might be tempted to do this afterwards. Let's see, he's going riding back. Oh, he's going all the way back. Oh, no. Smart kid, get, monopolize the time. Here's another amazing amusement park thing, like all made of ropes, like rope ladders. There's people climbing. There's so many different compartments. It goes all the way over there. Holy jump, it's like there's a slide down. Man, I wish I was here as a kid. I'm excited to be here now as an adult. Imagine as a kid. Brenda, what do you think? This is pretty awesome. It's pretty freaking cool. Yeah, we don't even have to... Going in a mysterious tunnel to nowhere. 
excuse us. Wow. This is so cool and magical. All right, we're on the other side of this, and I hear chimes, and there's a wood bridge and stuff over there, so let's figure out this out is. Here's some giant, like, castle, medieval-looking things with bridges in between. Look at that, it's a whole king, it's like a whole freaking kingdom castle thing, and then, look, you can go inside a freaking bird. In and outside of a freaking swan or crane. Let's go in the crane. Raina's in the bird. Fire in the hole, Raina. Let's see her come out of this. Out of the bird. I hear her. Wait, dude, I can't slide down because my butt is too sweaty. <laughs> okay, well, I got laid down. Okay. Oh. That either sounded really painful or really fun. It was fun, but yeah, see, my butt can slide. I'm stuck. <laughs> Damn. Cool. All right, we're going in the bird. Oh, how you doing? Oh, good. There's Ow. fish. We're not the only ones in here. Oh. You guys going down the slide? Yeah. I'm gonna... yes. Perfect. Go, go ahead if you'd like there. I'll go after you. Fish in, in the thing. Of course, everybody else in here is it's like five years old. Oh. Dad was back. Here we go. Hopefully the kids are not in the bottom. We're about to smoke them right. if they are. Here we go. Here we go, Joe's coming. Can't you hear me clear down there? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Ouch. It's hot, right? That hurt my butt. <laughs> here we are entering. The freaking castle thing. I'm in a castle. Look at this stuff. We got so many different ways. Check out this way first. Wow, look at this. So there's like, there's literally even like smaller. There's a telescope. Oh, wow, there's like multiple levels of this. Yeah, and a telescope. Let's see what's going down this bridge. Yeah, so look, this. you can go with that lookout. That's crazy. This thing is dynamic. Excuse us. Excuse me, my friend. Look at this. <laughs> On a drawbridge thing. Excuse me. Yeah, it's wobbly. <laughs> this is cool. This is crazy. Let's go. We're gonna go across the bridge again. Oh, yeah. And over the other side. All right. And there's a slide. And there's a there's waterworks thing, so it's all wet. I guess if we went up, we'll go up top, but yeah. Oh, I think this is what the kids were playing earlier. And it got all wet? Oh, yeah, you can turn it. Oh, oh. oh wow. Yeah, you can turn like where the water is. Oh, you can change the direction. Yeah. All right, let's go back to this way. So we don't get all wet. This is dope. Excuse us. Excuse me. Oh, there's people down there that can talk. Excuse me. And if you run on the drawbridge, it varies wobbly. So let's see what this one is. Oh yeah, this is an elephant. There's its face, there's its tusk, there's its trunk. Yeah, look, it's an elephant. Where? Right here. See its face and... Oh, how cute. So we're going into the elephant. I've been in a crane today, I've been in an elephant. This one looks like an elephant, pretty cool. So there's another lookout, and then here is a total, total oh rope drawbridge thing to get across. So we'll be crossing on that here just momentarily, that's pretty cool. What? All right, on the all rope bridge. Oh, it's not that bad, I can walk. One, I'm not using any hands at the moment, now I'm leaning against it. Ah. Ugh. Look at this, there's Raina. Hi. Yeah, this work is not too bad, we're making it work. Yeah, I've never said we need to get you some shoes. <laughs> All right, here's another uh, friggin' drawbridge thing that we saw from down below. It's huge. This place is crazy. Oh, it certainly is. <laughs> I'm impressed. Tulsa, Oklahoma, you got, you got it going on. And here we are way up here in a lookout all the way at the top. We're very high up, way down to the ground. 
So yeah, this place is crazy. Like, this is impressive. And we made it. Yeah. We're at the very top. Literally, this is, I'm pumped. This is so cool. Yeah, definitely coming here as a kid. You know what's awesome about this is, as a kid, it's still very dangerous. Which, I feel they've closed all the potentially dangerous things in life, so this is awesome. Let's figure out how to get out of here, though. And here we got some funny mirrors. That's a normal mirror. Or I think they're funny. Maybe they're not. Maybe it's just a... Mirrors? Is it just a mirror path? <laughs> I guess it's just a path of mirrors. Wow, this actually is a little disorienting, actually, being in here. <laughs> That's pretty cool, though. It'd be kind of fun to play like hide and go seek in here. Oh, there we go. Made it through. There's like again a whole bunch of gathering places here. This place is just massive. It's all through the trees. It's a big stage over there. There's a big rotating rock or something. This place is just. I can't get it. I just can't get enough. Here we got some of them tulips. Got a big old bear here too. It's pretty cool. We're getting to see some nature out here in Oklahoma. And whatever the heck this is, it's a great big glass building. Looks pretty also cool. Big lots of seating in it. Nice green space. Lots of shade and picnic tables over there. Stem timber. Stem timber. I don't know what that means, but I'm around with it. And apparently it was voted America's best new attraction. And I would 100% agree. Agree? Yep. Really cool. All right. Even just like this, the inside of this building is just beautiful. The design, the architecture is absolutely gorgeous. Look at all this. Just beautiful seating area. And look at the view. Like, I would live here. <laughs> Can I, I wonder how much rent is here? Just rent a. <laughs>